Captain Guru in the house, back with the bang on video, ladies and gentlemen. Remember Jose Mourinho to Arsenal. Well, these were the reports, and even certain uh, certain levels and certain sections of Arsenal fans have actually accepted him as the new manager because they were savagely behind Emery out campaign, but realized that they were accepting a more major problems. You know. Uh, like a guy like Jose Mourinho, I don't think so, not many would agree to the fact that Jose Mourinho should come to Arsenal. But, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing that's actually coming and the biggest thing that's actually happening is that the, the best news that's a, that actually should uh, happen to you guys is that Jose Mourinho to Arsenal, no meetings had been held yet between Jose Mourinho and the team. So that never happened. So, uh, I mean, th these are the certain amount of rumors that everybody, everybody actually you know, try to link the top level club manager to a top club. It always happens. But uh, the fact that it actually tests the real, real fans and probably many of many uh, that I actually uh, came across the comments and uh, their uh, uh, Twitter handles as well, uh, many failed in it. But moving on, Lucas Tarayra's agent responds to rumors that he wants to leave Arsenal because of Unai Emery. It's really funny because his agent says, I may also add that Milan never presented any concrete offer, perhaps they knew what Arsenal thought. And uh, when he was pressed on whether Torreira could one day return to Italy, he says, uh, Lucas always follows Italian football with great interest. I can't rule out anything. In Italy, he grew up as a player and as a man. The experiences at Pescara and Sampdoria are still in his heart. I think it's a very emotional man, Lucas Torreira. He needs to get uh, the, 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 the regular, regular football, I think. Yeah. Moving on, Lee Dixon notices something. At Arsenal, that cannot happen and has to stop. He says that uh, uh, he, he could have uh, used any any game this season as an example of Arsenal's weaknesses. He says, from having a shot at one end to conceding a penalty at the other end in the space of 20 seconds, that cannot happen. That has to stop. Now, that game versus Watford, uh, I could have done uh, Villa at home. I could have done Liverpool away when he played a narrow midfield and let the Liverpool fullbacks run the game. I could have picked any number of games and done the same analysis and just overlaid it onto the pitch. It's happening every week. That has to stop and the players have to have got to go. We don't know what you're doing, Gaffer. Can we change it? Can we change something? But there's no leaders in that team. There's no Patrick Vieira to go boss. Uh, can we change the system or something? Una is banging the drum about how we, he wants to play and players can't do it. Will Arsenal play against Southampton, the Emirates this Saturday? And I don't think so. Uh, uh, we all are not excited to, to see Arsenal play again because obviously the national break is long. We're seeing Lucas Torreira playing separately. We're seeing a lot of players playing separately. But all of them coming together in action. I'm just rooting for them this Saturday. Moving on. Luis Enrique has been among the favorites to take over at Arsenal should the board sack Unai Emery after this this run of form. He's left the national job and we all know that uh, the Euros are coming. So let's see if that's going to happen or not. But moving on. Arsenal could do the decision not to land long-term target Dio Pamecano because Manchester City are lurking to sign a new centre-back because the 55 million pound offer got refused. RB Leipzig defender, but this uh, I think this January I think is going to be available in a good amount of money. And the France centre-back has remained at the very top of their transfer shortlist, but with his contract expiring at the end of next season. Uh, Upamecano's value continues to plummet, and the Gunners believe that they could land him for 40 million now. But uh, Una Emery, I don't, I don't think so. I think Una Emery's job, I think it's more uh, uh, important than getting Upamecano. But let's see. The problem with Pep's uh, side is that they are, they are nine points behind Liverpool in the title race. His side's defense has been rocked by long-term injury to Emic reports, and uh, they have now considered 13 goals this season, far more, four more than Sheffield United. The current champions also failed to replace. Vincent Company who uh, departed for Anderlecht. So I think Upamecano is firmly in their sights. Moving on. AC Milan have reportedly turned down a move to sign Mohamed El Neni in January. Oh my god, they were trying to. Oh my god. Okay. He's currently on loan at Besiktas, but uh, uh, AC Milan were trying to uh, lure him to uh, San Siro. Moving on. The top performance from Lucas Torreira, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, Uruguay applied Argentina yesterday 2 to draw. But the little big man played an important part against uh, Argentina. He played a big role in the opening goal. And was a brilliant card to the defense throughout the game. He played superb. But none, none of the many, many of the Arsenal fans did not actually want to comment on uh, Gibraltar versus Switzerland. 1-6 victory for Switzerland. And Granit Xhaka scored in the 86th minute. Congratulations, Granit, for that goal. Uh, all the best for whatever you do. But it was really great. Moving on. 
Well, no player in Arsenal's midfield is better. Fans are really crazy to see Santi Cazorla's Spain performance. Well, uh, the 34 year will put in a lovely dummy to bring, bring in the, begin the move that led to the opening goal moments later. And even for the goal, uh, I think before crossing for uh, Villarreal team, Gerard Moreno to head home. It was really good. And Santi Cazorla, one of the fans, actually commented from his official Twitter account. He says, Cazorla is still ridiculously good. And I really don't know. I think. I think uh, lots of decisions are going away from Arsenal this season. But moving on, the all-time Premier League table is there for you, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, to see. Uh, we're not far behind, but Chelsea are not far behind us as well. So let's see if that's going to happen or not, because I think uh, they are really doing well, Chelsea, aren't they? But the last two that's coming our way, let's bust all the bubble, because there's also one report that says Luis Enrique is set to return as a manager of Spain. He has already accepted the proposal of Luis Rabiales. The president of Spanish Football Federation. The official announcement could come today after the meeting of the Federation's board of directors. I mean, obviously, it's Euros. Obviously, Spain want to win it again. They want to be the superpower again. Last time that they won was 2012, and they want to take it from Portugal right now. But let's see if that's going to happen or not. But these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the news and views and everything about Arsenal comes up on this platform every single day. So if you want to be a part of it, go subscribe and be a part of it. And hit that bell icon so you get notifications of all the videos every single time I post it on YouTube. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.